chance of meeting you? No, no chance of meeting me. Oh, Sorry, what is Jim? I I'm, I'm, I'm out. All what right. Do it now. Johnny, <laughs> no, I don't do it enough. Johnny Manziel's offseason has been an Us Weekly dream. Hanging with Drake, Bieber, Tyrese just a few days after being seen in Vegas. He was seen here at last night's Red Sox game with several ladies. The Manzalettes. Now, Charles Barkley is weighing in. He told Cleveland radio station 92.3 FM, listen, he's got to watch himself, man, because everybody's out to get you now. But you should never take selfies of anything doing anything that can be considered stupid. And that's probably the only problem I have with Johnny Manziel. Most of his pictures are selfies, and that tells me he's just too immature to handle this fame thing right now. So we'll start with you. What kind of advice would you give Johnny Manziel? And just keep doing you. <laughs> you know, just keep doing that. that it, we, like, we act like it's a persona. You know, we act like sometimes it's an act. You know, uh, but that's, this is who Johnny Menzel is. You know, and in order to find a comfort zone when you're making the step that he's making, when, when you're coming from being a, a highly touted, quote unquote, amateur superstar and coming to that next level, where you're coming into the NFL and just automatically you're going to have players try to tee off on you because of what you've attained and they don't think you have earned. You have to stay confident in who you are. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes there's a line that you could cross with confidence, but Johnny's very confident in what he can do and what his abilities are and who he is. That's why he hadn't backed down. That's why people think he doesn't have a shred of humbleness in him. Fine. Not doing anything illegal, not costing the Cleveland Browns any games. Keep doing your thing, man. You are 21, 22 years old. You're a bachelor. You have not done anything irresponsible. You're having fun, enjoying it. As long as it shows up on the football field and it shows up in practice, keep doing your thing. That's the only advice I can give him. Now, here do. Five years from now, if things aren't working out as well, and you need to start getting reflective and start to soul search and say, what can I do to do better? If some of the things you've done start to come back on you, you know, if some of the things you do, you wind up regretting to say, yeah, that was kind of stupid. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because everybody's going to do something stupid. Then, yes, start maybe looking and saying, maybe I do need to make some changes. But as for right now, man, keep doing you. Because you know what? I'd be a hater if I sat up here and said I wouldn't do the same thing he was doing. Thank you. And that's the only, that, that would make me a hypocrite, too. So, no, nah, uh, Johnny, keep doing you. It's like his fame didn't change Johnny. Johnny Manziel's fame changed other people. Because yeah. now they have a different way of looking at him. He has been the same person. He's just doing it more on the national stage. Believe me, he, you can't even go to a Red Sox game now and hang out with the Manzalettes <laughs> without people losing their mind. Right. It seems like no matter what he does, somebody's going to find fault with it. I don't find fault with Charles Barkley's statement in terms of he has to watch out. I don't buy the whole immaturity thing because I don't think Johnny Manziel's being immature. Mm. He's being himself as a 21-year-old man. People didn't like the fact that the NFL draft, he had a cup of beer in his hand. I said, well, you know what? I didn't think it was against the rule. Right. And he wasn't going out to play football the next day or later on that night <laughs> in the NFL draft. When it's he the went, draft. It's the draft. He did the whole money sign and everything like that leading up to the stage where being drafted by the Cleveland Browns. We all know what we've gotten into with Johnny Manziel. If you don't like it, that's fine. If you do like it, that's fine. I'm not knocking his hustle at all. Thank but you. his fame didn't change him. No. His fame changed a lot of other people who don't like the fact that he's not Tom Brady the way he acts. He's not Peyton Manning or Eli Manning the way he acts. They want their quarterbacks to be cookie cutter. Well, you know what? This world is not made by everybody being the same. If that was the case, then nothing would ever get done in terms of not having discussion, not having disagreements, whatever that is. Johnny Manziel is going to find a way to handle it because he's not going to let what he's doing off the field get in the way with what he's doing on the field. His fame is somebody else's problem. It's not his problem. Here's a good, here's a good role model that puts right into perspective what Freddie was talking about. Floyd May Mayweather Jr. If you take the illegal activities that have been brought against him and just his behavior, it's very Johnny Manziel-like. But here's the thing. Can you just take that out like that? No, yeah, well, no. But, but what I'm saying is about the attitude and the bravado and the ego and the arrogance. Floyd Mayweather still has not lost. Not in the red. And that's what I'm saying. That's what Johnny Manziel. Right. Look, as long as I keep doing that, Absolutely. you're fine. That's what Floyd Mayweather. People hate him because, but he's never done outside of like the situation with his wife. People hate his behavior. They hate his arrogance. They hate the way he flaunts. They they despise the way. He, but guess what? He does his business. And if I'm Johnny Manziel, and that's kind of where they're pigeonholing me. Look, as long as I keep winning. I'm good. Johnny Manziel is good for two businesses, the National Football League, because more people are going to pay attention to the Cleveland Browns, whether he becomes a starting quarterback or not, and he feels he's going to be the starter from day one over Brian Hoyer. Number two, 
just water cooler business. Because believe me, he's gone beyond the National Football League where whatever he does, people know who that is. Exactly. Believe me, we don't know the, the names of the man's delets, but we know the lead singer, Johnny Manziel, right, that right. was there exactly. hanging out exactly. at Fenway. What is, what is it going to take for people to just back off Johnny Manziel and let him do his thing? Because the last, well, I, if, he does, if he does it, Joe Namath, I don't, all this shuts down. I don't even think that's the case because okay. they're still going to try to, just like your Floyd Mayweather Jr. comparison, no matter what he does in the ring, if he does okay. something wrong or does something right, people are going to find fault with it. Johnny okay. Manziel, people always find fault with him because he does not fit the convention, and they don't like the fact that he may succeed despite not fitting into that conventional box. I will say one thing. I know we got to go, but Johnny, a message to you. I'm speaking to you, but a message <laughs> yeah. you do. I like the... Mizell Etz or whatever you Mandelettes. want to us, man, man, Mandelettes. Mandelettes. I like that. But you know what? The biggest mistake he can make is not taking advantage of his fame and getting, not settling for something random. They're cute, but that's random. So he said he, he, he do, always do, should trade up do, and do, not trade down, say, do. me? That's the Kate, advice right there. Kate, that's the, forget Kate about Upton. you. You need to be on Kate oh, Upton radar. That's what you wow. need. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Really? If well, I'm Johnny Manziel, why, I ain't going to settle for somebody in the stands at Fenway Park, dude. I'm going for Kate Upton. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it big. So you won't be married after the show is over, right? No, I'll be married. I'm talking about John. I'm talking about John. I'm, talking about me. I'm good. I'm just, I'm just, good. Of course, just Johnny. All right. The, to your point about success, the Browns have won 18 games since 2010, the fewest in the NFL. By contrast, Johnny Football won 20 games just in two college seasons. They may have had 18 starting quarterbacks yeah. since 2010 <laughs> in Cleveland. All right. Coming up, while the rest.